the idea now we'll come to the second point understanding of the cube or cuboid in the uh, terms of cutting means how we will able to cut it and after cutting how similar type of cuboid or cube will form cutting of cuboid we can do in two type uh, two way similar cuboid we can make or similar cube we can make cutting of cube generally we can do we know this is 3d figure then x y z one side length one side width one side height three axis will be there then we have the option either we can chop off or cut in any along one axis or we can choose this and that or we can choose this that and that all three axis what will be the difference if you are cutting only along one axis or you are cutting along two axis or if you are cutting along three axis just will try to understand cutting if you are doing smaller cubes then if you are cutting along all three axis then you will get maximum number of cube if you are cutting along only one axis any of the axis you picked either x axis y axis or z axis you will get always minimum number of cubes or if you are adopting just madhyam in between then you will get between the number of cubes what you can get in the form of minimum and maximum in between you will get number of cubes what we can adopt in in minimum and uh, in between we can adopt two axis not equally distributed like just suppose you have to cut five cut any cube you have to cut five cut you have the first option all five cut you will do in one axis how many piece you will do anything if you are cutting by one one cut it will divide in two piece if you are cutting by five piece, five cut it will divide in six piece this is minimum this is minimum other way you can do one cut one axis four cut another axis and what you will get you will get the maximum no you will not get the maximum how to maximize it maximize is five you divide in three part as much as possible equal what is equal possible this is best possible equal means you keep the number because here we can't take decimal or we can't take fraction you have to you can't say you cut 0.5 it is not possible otherwise figure will not create a different figure will not create or whatever desired result is there that we will not get then what we have to do we have to use integral number and we have to keep the number of cut along any of the axis near to average 5 if you are dividing by 3 then what will be the average it will be around 2 then we will try to keep the number of cuts as much as possible near to 2 if you are in place of 6 if you are doing in place of 5 if you are keeping number of cut 6 then what will best thing 2 2 2 just simple imagination no need to learn here math if you are able to visualize in brain matter is over cube will never hurt you cube problem any level of problem it will never hurt you it is simple counting but visualization is not correct you will always do mistake in counting always you will do mistake in counting you will feel you have done correct but actually it will be wrong you will feel you have done correct and you are sure this question or this case let you have made all question correct but it will be wrong then visualization is having great role to understand the cube then if it is six cut then equally we can divide if it is seven cut then what we what we will do three two two this is the way to maximize number of cubes just we'll take example and this same analogy whatever unitary method we have approached like we have taken the sample of three cut five cut six cut now this unitary method will try to generalize in the form of any number of cut in the format of so called it is called formula because you will feel comfortable if i am giving the formula because we are habituated from since childhood if anything is formalized we will feel comfortable okay no no issue you will put the number we will get it then same way i have just uh, make the formulated way number of cut is c and number of cubes or n have direct relationship it depends on the value of c is multiple of 3 or not if c is a multiple of 3 then we will have different formulation if it is a not multiple of 3 then two possibility we will have either one remainder 3k minus 1 or you can say 3k plus 1 or 3k minus 2 3k plus matter is same either you are telling minus 1 remainder or plus 2 remainder matter is same 
देन थ्री के माइनस वन और वी कैन से थ्री के प्लस टू इन यू द फॉर्मेट बट इफ सी बिकॉज इट इज डिवाइडेड इन थ्री एक्स इज ड्यू टू वी आर कंसिडरिंग यर फॉर्मेट ऑफ थ्री के देन ओनली थ्री ऑप्शन वी विल हैव आइदर दिस सी दिस नंबर विल बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ थ्री के और थ्री के प्लस वन थ्री के प्लस टू और जस्ट वी कैन से इन डिफरेंट वे थ्री के थ्री के माइनस वन थ्री के माइनस टू मैटर इज सेम बट ओनली थ्री फॉर्मेट वी विल गेट वेन वी विल गेट मैक्सिमम इन ऑल द केसेज जस्ट सपोज इफ वी आर टेकिंग सी इक्वल टू थ्री के मीन्स एग्जैक्टली यू आर हैविंग जस्ट सपोज नाइन कट नाइन कट यू हैव टू डू देन मिनिमम हाउ मच इट विल बी देयर नाइन प्लस वन सी प्लस वन वेन यू विल डू इन any one of the axes if you are doing along all three axes then what you have to do just to do c by 3 plus 1 to the power q what is meaning of here q because cube is always produce a perfect cube number similar way a square is producing a perfect square number one i think now you are expert all these things basically 2 square 4 3 square 9 now just to make it 3D figure one square will be, one cube will be always one only. If you are making the same thing, you are extending. If same thing you are extending, then what will happen? Figure will looks like this. This is your cube. It is divided in two part from all the axes. Two to the power cube, eight cube. Three to the power cube, twenty seven cubes. Means if you are dividing in very symmetric way, then you will get the perfect cube number. what we got the idea from here one thing we got the idea whatever number of cubes we can produce maximum that will be perfect cube number or from perfect cube number only this number will be oscillate here there based on the number of cuts how much it is less or how much it is